In tonight's final view, is accurate history in our kids' textbooks important? Personally, I believe it is. And last night, if you watched the show, we had Crystal Gonzalez on. She's with the Fargo Native American Commission, and she was on to talk about celebrating Indigenous Peoples Day rather than Columbus Day. But one of the things that she brought up last night was the importance of all of us learning our history based on facts rather than interpretation. Well, a young 15-year-old boy and his mom recently put up a video, I believe it was on YouTube, about a McGraw-Hill High School history book. Now, this book had been reviewed by a ton of doctorate scholars, and since the mom posted this video, it's been viewed well over a million, a million times. Like accuracy, I believe, is important for our kids. So I want you to notice how this history book that was supposedly thoroughly reviewed refers to slaves as workers. In other words, they were obviously insinuating that, hey, these people are coming over here to work for pay rather than the accurate label of being a slave, which we all know means working for free because you're considered someone's property. Here's the video. The Atlantic slave trade between the 1500s and the 1800s brought millions of workers from Africa to the southern United States to work on agricultural plantations. So it is now considered immigration. And these are some other sections that sort of talk about the pattern of immigration. This section here in particular talks about uh, English and European peoples, many of whom came as indentured servants to work for little or no pay. So they say that about um, English and European people, but there is no mention of Africans working as slaves or being slaves. It just says we were workers. Kudos to this mom and son, <clears throat> excuse me, since this video has been posted, McGraw-Hill has since changed the online version of this textbook, and they intend to make the correction, obviously, in the next version of this textbook as well. Now, I share this with you tonight because, look, I know sometimes you feel like you're bumping your head against maybe a brick wall with everything that's going on in our world today, but by doing these kind of things, you can make a difference for our future generations, for our kids. There is a very simple example. To label slavery as immigration clearly is not the right word for what took place back uh, in the early days of our nation. Now, coming up uh, tomorrow night is Thursday night football here on KX4. But then on Friday, of course, we've got our Friday roundtable discussion. Three fantastic guests will be joining us. you got Billy Kirshner there, Michael Falloon, and Scott Hennon will be talking about the hot topics throughout the week. As always, I want to invite you to join our conversation. You can go to our website, 630pov.com. You can call us, leave us voicemail messages. You can email us, go to our Facebook page, use Twitter, whatever is the easiest way for you to communicate with our show. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We'll see you back here Friday night. I'm Chris Berg, and that's tonight's Point of View.